gummy. Join me in prayer. Holy and loving God, we gather today in joyful celebration of our senior class that has led them to this day. With thanksgiving to you, God, by your love and grace, they made it to this day despite the many trials that have come their way. One bad exam didn't stop them. An injury on the court or on the field didn't stop them. A year, a year in King and Smith didn't stop them. A loss of a scholarship didn't stop them. An internship rejection didn't stop them. A learning disability 
didn't stop them. Anxiety and depression, self-doubt and worry, fear and uncertainty didn't stop them. A relationship that went south, a friendship that ended a loss of a loved one didn't stop them. A hurricane that hit their homeland didn't stop them. Civil unrest and violence back home didn't stop them. And a worldwide pandemic didn't stop them either. In your scriptures, Lord, you talk about running the race that is in front of us with endurance, yet we weren't expecting all of these things in the past four years. But we know and give you thanks that they are better people because they endured, because they didn't stop. With all that has come their way, may today, Lord, be a blessing. May you shower upon our graduates the joy they deserve to feel as they made it to this day. Through this accomplishment and all the trials they endured, give them the confidence to continue chasing after their dreams, knowing they have persevered. They are seasoned. They are gifted. They are equipped to be the people you have called them to be. We pray these things in the name of Christ, the one who never forsake us, never gives up on us, never stops loving us. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Reverend Wilhelm. In advance, I'd also like to express a appreciation to Dr. Annie Flood, a professor of music who will be conducting the university choir in a few moments uh, as we continue this celebration. Hey, graduates, we're outside. All right, we're outside. It's a great day for the university and for all of you assembled here. On behalf of the University of the Ozarks, I welcome all of you. Welcome parents, relatives, friends, faculty, staff, boards, board, members of the Board of Trustees, honored guests, and most of all, welcome graduates. Graduates, the entire Ozarks family shares in your happiness today knowing you have successfully achieved one of the most rewarding moments in a lifetime. Here in a few moments, you'll earn a bachelor's degree. As I shared during rehearsal, right? Do you remember the two numbers I shared? Today, you're joining 8% of the world's population. Only 8% of the world's population has a bachelor's degree. And in the United States, only 35% of the population has a bachelor's degree. You're joining a pretty selective group. That selective group includes 8,000 alumni around the world in 50 countries and all 50 states and U.S. Territory, territories. Some of our alums are here today. If you're a graduate from the College of the Ozarks before 1987 or the University of the Ozarks since 1987, please stand and be recognized. What has happened um, since you took your first class? Uh, Reverend Wilhelm did a nice summary of that, right? We've had engagements, we've had weddings, we've had children, and then there's that thing about a worldwide pandemic all while you were trying to go to college. To say much has changed since you began college, well, it's an understatement. Graduates, I ask that each of you take a few minutes and uh, reflect upon the promises that we made to each other before the first class, all right? During matriculation, we made a series of promises to each other. You promised that your integrity as a student consisted not only of following the rules, but a commitment to learning. You promised to take personal responsibility for your learning. 
you promise to take the initiative to figure out what you don't understand, to formulate ideas, and to create questions about information shared. You promise to listen and care. You promise to respect your teachers and your peers. You promise to share with us your very best work and to represent others' views fairly and appropriately along the way. In return, we made a series of promises to you. We promise to empower you as students. We promise to share in your journey. We promise to encourage and support you along the way. We promise to offer guidance and treat you with fairness and honesty. And we promised to role model the highest of personal integrity. Today, well, today marks the fulfillment of the promises we made to each other. Congratulations to you all. We applaud you for your dedication, your persistence, your passion to achieve your goals, and you should be just proud. We all know many of your stories, right? Most of us know what it took for you to be here today. We know you've worked hard. We know you've sacrificed a great deal over the past few years to be here. But we also know that there are other folks in the, the audience that have also sacrificed hard and worked to make this happen. It would be an appropriate time to recognize some of them. Will the parents of our graduates please rise? Please remain standing. Would the grandparents and other relatives of our graduates please rise. With the, will the spouses, partners, children, friends of our, graduation, our graduates please rise and remain standing. Graduates, let me invite you to stand Turn to your family, friends, and loved ones and appreciate them with your applause. Please be seated. Graduates, I also hope that, that you'll make time maybe today, maybe in the coming weeks, to say what needs to be said to a faculty member, a coach, a staff member, anyone that you believe is invested um, in your time at Ozarks. We have with us today the faculty, many staff, as well as members of the University Board of Trustees. Before I invite the faculty and staff to stand and be recognized, I'd ask my graduates to consider that without their commitment, without their dedication and resilience, right? Without the faculty to your left and your right, well, there wouldn't be much to the University of the Ozarks. Would my faculty, staff, administrators, and board of trustees members please rise? Graduates, please appreciate these professionals. Please be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce you the first of our speakers this morning, Mr. Jose Arias. Mr. Mr. Arias was selected by the faculty to provide the students welcome. The first member of his family to earn a college degree, Mr. Arias is not only graduating today, He's graduating with the highest of honors, summa cum laude, with both a Bachelor of Science and a Bachelor of Art with majors in business administration, psychology, and political science. Mr. Arias embodies many of the core values we hold as an institution. To name just a few, we saw the value of service in his efforts to help high school students prepare for college in his home country of Costa Rica. 
we saw the value of hospitality as his tireless service on campus as a tutor in the Jones Learning Center and with Catholic Campus Ministries. We witnessed the value of growth in his participation in the Fund for American Studies summer program as well as his work promoting and advocating for human rights through an internship with the Center for a Free Cuba. Please welcome Mr. Jose Arias. Hello, everyone. Today is a day that we have been working toward for years, a day in which we can look back at our time at Ozarx with pride, knowing that we have achieved something truly special. It is with great honor and joy that I stand here before you today in representation of this amazing class of 2023. As we gather here to celebrate our achievements, it is impossible to avoid feeling a little overwhelmed with emotions. I think that everyone can agree that it's a bittersweet moment for us. We have come a long way from the first day we stepped foot on this campus. And today, we stand as graduates, ready to take on the world. Almost four years ago, I got to Ozarks with a very small bag. My friends still make fun of it. It was the most exhausting trip of my life. All the way from Costa Rica, more than 18 hours to get here, to a completely different place, knowing no one. Tomorrow, I will leave, I will leave not only with much more stuff, actually two bags, <laughs> but with lifelong friendships and memories that will be impossible to forget. Going back to these four years, there are many people that made today possible and they do reserve a recognition. First, I would love to express my heartfelt gratitude to all those who have supported us, to our families, friends, and loved ones. Thank you for always believing in us, for offering words of encouragement and guidance, for standing by our side through the ups and downs. Without your persistent support, we would not be here today. I also would like to express my deepest gratitude to the faculty and staff at Ozarks. Your commitment to our education, your passion for your subjects, and your tireless efforts to prepare us for the challenges that lie ahead have not gone unnoticed. You have been our mentors, our guides, and our friends, and we could not have made it without you. More than professors, I can say that I met my mentors here. Special thanks to Dr. Saber, Dr. Garcia for all your support. As I do reflect on my personal journey, I would love to thank someone that I know would have loved to be here. Dr. Stuart Depot, my truly first mentor. I will never forget when as a political science freshman, I got to Depot's office to ask for advice. I asked him, should I take a class with you? <laughs> Guess what he said? He said, why haven't you? You should. He immediately said, oh, you have heard things, haven't you? I have a reputation here. <laughs> we spent like three hours talking in his office. At the end, he told me, I just added you to my class. If you leave the class, I will make you suffer even more. <laughs> As scared I was, I took the class. I got an A in the class. I ended up loving his classes and respecting him very much as a professor. Dr. Dipple, not only because of your reputation that you do have, many other things. I am confident in saying that the class of 2023 will never forget you. Whenever we thank others, we often forget about the most important people that made this journey possible. Thanks to you, my fellow graduates. It's been an honor to share this journey with you. Congratulations. We have worked so hard to reach this point, and it is a testament to our dedication, persistence, and resilience that we are here today. We have faced countless challenges, from COVID to online learning, but we have risen to the occasion time and time again. We have learned from our failures, celebrated our successes, and grown in ways that we could never have imagined. Do you remember what happened Friday, March 13, 2020? It was around 9.47 p.m., to be more specific. You do? We got the email, an email probably most of us were expecting in some way. I remember I was in Russellville with my friends. The email said the campus was going to close, everything was going to be moved online. The good thing, we got a two week spring break. <laughs> everyone in my, where we were, I was with my friends in Russellville, when we read the email, everyone stayed quiet. 
we just looked at each other. What do we do now? Was it safe to go back home? If we go, can we even come back to continue our education here? Or like, if we stay here, can I see my family in a short term period? We had to deal with that in a couple of days, couple of hours. Personally, I decided to go back home because as it is said, there's nothing like home. I felt like I needed my true connection. I needed my family. As we adapted to the changes, we had to adapt to new circumstances. The lack of interaction, human interaction, was the hardest one for me. For some semesters, we had to take some online classes, knowing that it was maybe not the best, but it was necessary. I invite you to take a look around you today. Look at us, hundreds of people in a small place. If you're here today as a parent, as a family member, as a friend, congratulations. And graduates, you too. You have overcame many obstacles, and you're a proof that you do not give up. I invite you to not forget that we're not only celebrating here our personal achievements. Let's also celebrate the bonds that we have formed here. From the exams to the weekend adventures, from the presentations, the papers, to the joining intramurals, we have loved, cried, and supported each other throughout the whole journey, four, five, six, seven, two years. We have made unforgettable memories that will be forever engraved in our hearts. We have formed lifelong friendships and memories that will be cherished for years to come. Class of 2023, I do want you to be aware of one thing. You have been given a gift, the gift of knowledge that comes with the ability to make a difference. I am confident enough to say that now you're equipped with the tools you need to address the many challenges facing this world. As you should be aware of, we live in a very challenging world for climate change to social injustice, from economic inequality to political instability. However, I am delighted to tell you that now you have the skills and the intellect to make a difference. Now is your choice to do it in this challenging world. As I said, the world is very complex. It requires bold and innovative solutions. The world needs leaders like us, young people that are not afraid to take risks, to think outside the box, and to stand up for what is right. The world needs leaders that are empathetic, who understand that every decision they make has not only an impact on themselves, but also on the people around them. At graduates, I encourage you to be brave, be passionate, but please do not forget to be your true selves. The power of empathy is often underestimated. During my time at Ozarks, one summer, I interned on a human rights NGO. One day, my job was to interview some migrants that came to the US around four years ago. I asked them, what was the biggest change since you come to the US? One of them stepped out without thinking about it, and he said, I took some classes to learn how to read and write, and they were free. You have no idea how that touched my heart. To hear from a person that was around 40, 45 years old, he was very happy to share with us what he learned. Later that day, I spent the whole afternoon trying to get explanations from my boss. How does your heart not melt every time you hear or see something like this, I said. Well, his response shocked me. He said, his heart melts every time he sees someone like me, a young person trying to make a difference in the world. That day, I realized two things. The first one is that human rights are not just a theoretical concept. They're an essential, or they should be an essential component of our lives. And I also realized that small, very small things can have a big impact in someone's life. Graduates, today I motivate you to be the impact this world needs. Let's challenge the status quo. Let's make the world that they know that the younger generations can make the impact that is needed. Let us never forget the values and principles that have been instilled in us during our time here. And let us always strive to be ethical, compassionate, and responsible individuals. If I am honest with you, I have no doubt that each and every one of you will accomplish great things. You're not only the future, you're today's innovators, change makers, and leaders. And I have high confidence in your ability to succeed. One thing though, about success, please always remember, as Michelle Obama once said, success is not about how your life looks to others. It is about how it feels to you. Being successful is not about being impressive, it's about being inspired. That's what it means to be true to yourself. As you go and try and conquer the world, I do ask you one final thing. Please do not forget to enjoy the journey. Life is, not just, life is not just about achieving goals. It is about the experiences, connections, and memories that you make along the way. I encourage you to enjoy this day because class of 2023, congratulations, we made it and we did it together.
Thank you, Jose. I'm honored to introduce our keynote speaker this morning, Ms. Maura Filio Howerton, a 1980 graduate of Ozarks. Ms. Howerton recently retired as managing director at Deloitte Tax after 32 years of providing expatriate and individual income tax consulting to multinational corporations and their international employees. She is part of a tremendous family legacy here at Ozarks that has seen 13 members of her extended family attend or graduate from Ozarks over the past 50 years, including five siblings. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Maura Filio Howerton. Well, I'm not going to be able to greet each of you individually because there's so many, so I'm going to tell you right now, congratulations, class of 2023. You're marvelous. <laughs> well, good morning, graduates, families, faculty members. Um, I'm honored to stand here before you today uh, and offer my congratulations on your achievements. Thank you, President Dunsworth. And a big thanks to this university that has been such a big, it's had such a big impact on my life. I've returned many times over the years, and I'm so impressed by all the positive changes I see. I loved attending school here, and I love it more every time I return. You all have accomplished a great deal, and there is a whole world waiting to see how you will plan for your future. Where will you go, and what will you do? And how many times have you heard those questions in the last few weeks, months, even year? And family members and friends, how many times have you asked those questions? All of you, you and your families, are excited today because you've got a degree. Many of you already know what's next. Some of you are heading to earn a master's degree. Some have job offers. Many will stay here in Arkansas, and some will travel to new destinations. It can be scary and exhilarating all at the same time. Some of you may be thinking, yes, it's very exciting, but what now? When I graduated from the College of the Ozarks over 40 years ago, I had that exact thought. I've got my degree, and now what? I had to determine where I was going to go and what I was going to do. On this momentous day, I want to talk to you about goals and planning for your future. You see, the goals that you set for yourself today aren't anything like what you'll set in five years or 10 years. Your goals change with every new opportunity and challenge that you encounter. After graduation, I worked in the restaurant business for a few years, and I realized it was not for me. A new plan was needed. Next, I worked in the banking industry, and I loved it, but I kind of wanted to have kids and stay home with my family, so I set new goals that involved staying home with my children until my youngest was ready to start kindergarten. While I cherished this time, I also worried about how I would re-enter the workforce when the time came. I needed a plan that would keep my skills sharp and, of course, look good on a resume. So I started part-time work doing something new, income tax. I didn't realize it at the time, but this was to become my passion. When I was ready to begin my full-time career again, I accepted a position with a large accounting firm in their expatriate taxes, tax area. And as you've already explained, expatriate tax is an area where um, I was consulting with individuals who lived and worked outside of their home countries. I did find myself feeling a little bit behind my peers who'd been advancing in their careers while I was raising my children, and I felt I had a lot to catch up on. However, I did not let that discourage me. I focused on my goals, and I took every opportunity, also known as extra work, including volunteering to take on new accounts, delivering national corporate trainings, developing team members, and of course, traveling to new locations. It wasn't long before uh, that determination began to pay off because I continued to change my goals. With each new position and company, I was eventually promoted to managing director of tax. In 2011, my ultimate career and personal goal came to fruition. I accepted an opportunity to become an expatriate myself, living and working in India. 
Luckily, my husband was excited for this opportunity as well. Our kids had grown and were independent, so the timing was perfect. I was living my dream. While living in India, I thought that working in expatriate tax had opened up the world for me, literally. I've been all over the United States. I've been to the United Kingdom, Amsterdam, Thailand, Nepal, Switzerland. In retrospect, I was wrong about that. It was my education and the people that I met here in college that opened up the world to me. You see, I was a member of the International Club here, and I made friends with people from Ethiopia, Japan, Iran, Thailand, and so many other wonderful places. Several of these international students came and stayed at my home during breaks from college. They brought their food, their traditions, and their cultures into my family life. Because of these strong connections, my father, who was a World War II veteran, would later travel to Japan, sit across the table, and enjoy a glass of sake with a Japanese World War II veteran because their daughter his, his daughter had stayed at our home on one of our breaks. When I traveled to Thailand, one of my classmates was the most incredible host and tour guide you could ever imagine. And now, over 40 years later, one of my father's neighbors in Rockwall, Texas, is one of my former classmates. What I realized is that many doors have opened for me because of choosing to come to this small and very special place. So look around you. Remember all these wonderful relationships and be sure to connect with these people wherever and whenever you can. I've been enjoying retirement for the past several years and I'm loving it, but I do continue to set goals. They just revolve around my family and travel. Ultimately, I have learned that life is a journey full of twists and turns and that it's okay not to have it all figured out. Don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. This is not the last time you're going to have to figure out where you're going to go and what you're going to do. Your lives will change many times, so grab opportunities, say yes, maintain relationships, and don't be afraid to work hard and take on new challenges. Just remember that all changes require new goals. I sincerely hope that where, whatever path you choose, it will eventually lead you back here to the Ozarks for a future homecoming, meeting with these friends, and reminiscing about these good old days. So wherever it is you go, and whatever it is you do, I wish you the success on your journey. Thank you, and congratulations once again. This time I'd like to invite Dr. Brafrika Murdianti to the platform. Dr. Murdianti. Graduates, please rise. President Dunsworth, on behalf of the faculty and staff at, of the University of the Ozarks, I am privileged to present to you the members of the class of spring 2023 who have fulfilled all the requirements necessary for graduations. Dr. Murdianti, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the University of the Ozarks Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon the spring class of 2023 the degrees of Bachelors of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of General Studies with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereunto attached.
Jonathan Ezra Adderley, Nassau, The Bahamas, Bachelor of Arts in Theater, Magna Cum Laude. Reka Sanjali Alcid, Kamkuk No Eti, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Jessica Alvarado, Springdale, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science in Health Science and Business Administration. Jean Claude Junior Antoine, Port au Prince, Haiti, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, and Health Science. Eudenie Antoine, Port au Prince, Haiti, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Jose Arias Fonseca Perez Saledon, Costa Rica, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration in Psychology, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, summa cum laude. <laughs> Wilkins Aristil, Porto Prince Haiti, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude. Kaylee Nicole Barnes, Trophy Club, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Sebastian Bata, Porto Prince AT, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Carlos Antonio Borregar Leon, Via Hermosa, Mexico, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Brooks Morgan Boschers, Muldrow, Oklahoma, Bachelor of Science, in Business Administration. Brandon Avery Brown, Ola, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Laura Bruce, San Miguelito, Panama, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies and Sociology, summa cum laude. Jacob Kenneth Case, Keller, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. <laughs> Nicolau Castells Llopar, Barcelona, Spain, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Rich Emmanuel Charlis, Carrefour AT, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Nickerson Yadli Chatelier, Port au Prince AT, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Dylan Michael Cheater, Salisa, Oklahoma, Bachelor of General Studies. Okay. Carlissa Rebecca Colbrook, Nassau, Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, and History, summa cum laude.
Faith Carla Curry, Harbor Island, the Bahamas. Bachelor of Science in Health Science, cum laude. Kelsey Alexandra David, Cabot, Arkansas. Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Drew Christopher Didway, Salisaw, Oklahoma, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Jody Caitlin Dodge, Nassau, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, magna cum laude. Colby Melchior Dorsetti, Petion V. Leite, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration and Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Morgan Brianna Douglas, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science and Health Science, Summa Cum Laude. Oyan Eloise Chloe Devo, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Studies. Jonathan Jesse Duffel, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Cum Laude. Faith Nicole Duran, Paris, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Axel Duvivier, Pétionville, Haiti, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Elodie Clara Emilien, Porto Prince 80, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Ellen Catherine Engro, Richardson, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Stacy Etienne, NASA, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology in Spanish, summa cum laude. Stephen Dwayne Ama Jr., NASA, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Sierra Jamie Ferguson, New Providence, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Eric Manuel Figueroa, San Ignacio Belize, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration, summa cum laude. Garrett Eli Finley, Judsonia, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. <laughs> Daniela Lizette Flores Vajaderos, Tessagusa Guapa, Honduras, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration and Psychology, magna cum laude. Judy Lenora Forbes, NASA, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. <laughs> J. 
Jessica Deanne Fraser, Nassau, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Arts, Art and Psychology. Skylar Marie Fraser, Pocahontas, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, magna cum laude. Daniel J. Freeman, Lamar, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Aaron Newell Gamble, Lindale, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Melissa Garcia Cortez, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science and Business Administration, summa cum laude. Odalis Cristel Garcia, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, summa cum laude. Blanca Janeth Garcia Almaraz, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, cum laude. Jaden Alexis Glover, Greenbrier, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kennedy Nicole Goodnight, Ulaga, Oklahoma, Bachelor of Science, Psychology and Sociology, Summa Cum Laude. Ashley Michelle Hawkins, Altus, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Luis Marcelo Hernandez Castillo, Masaya, Nicaragua, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies and Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Carol Hernandez Flores, Panama City, Panama, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Riley Justin Hooper, Houston, Texas, Bachelor of Arts, History. Garrett Carter Houston, Scranton, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science and Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Elvis Efeginio Yanga, Curaçao, Netherlands Antilles, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Ed Kevin Jean, Port-au-Prince, AT, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Franz Edouard Jean, Port-au-Prince, AT, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Leo Jean, Port-au-Prince AD, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Gaetan Jean-Louis, Port-au-Prince AD, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Abrian Shermaine Johnson, Fort Worth, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Janae Marie Jones, Nassau, the Bahamas, 
Bachelor of Science, Biology. Rochelle Joseph, The Bahamas in Haiti, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Aruto Kansaku, Osaka, Japan, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kagan David Kennedy, Las Vegas, Nevada, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Connor James Klein, Bella Vista, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, and Art, Magna Cum Laude. Rudy Ricard Laguerre, Port au Prince, 80, Bachelor of General Studies. Abby Elizabeth Lewis, Russellville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, Summa Cum Laude. Steve Garneau-Louis, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Maxwell Brookman Mahoney, Springdale, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, and Religion. Josue Alexander Maldonado Paredes, Guatemala City, Guatemala, Bachelor of Science, Biology, and Business Administration, summa cum laude. Rebecca Mariscal Ruelas, Chihuahua, Mexico, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Business Administration, summa cum laude. Gilberto S. Martin, Habana, Cuba, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, cum laude. Catherine Martinez Dorcas, La Sieba Honduras, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Philosophy and Sociology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Julema Martinez Picasso, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Emerald Claire McCordy, Nassau, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Dylan Michael McDonald, The Woodlands, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Kanisha Oleana McDonald, Nassau, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Summa cum laude. Clara E. McElroy, Cabot, Arkansas, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, and Communication Studies, Summa cum laude. Melvin Adil Mendoza Flores, Santiago, Panama, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Studies, Summa cum laude. Sarah Victoria Miller Brown, Danville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Arts, English and Psychology, cum laude. Ray Sean Miller, Long Island, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies, magna cum laude. Joubert Emmanuel 
Bingo Pechonville, 80, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Madison Ray Mockler, Allen, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Thomas Hal Myers, Alabaster, Alabama, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Christopher Liam Neal, Bentonville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration and Art, Summa Cum Laude. Shea Marie Neumeyer, Bigelow, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Grayson Mataja Nix, Red Oak, Oklahoma, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Savannah Gabrielle Noblet, Plainview, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Julian Israel Pais Sanchez. Now, Huizalco El Salvador, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Studies, and Business Administration, magna cum laude. Yves Pateau, Jr., Porto Prince, AT, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Austin Blake Paul, Benton, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Macy Lane Peltz, Knoxville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Marie-Yves Perpignan, Port-au-Prince 80, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Elizabeth Janelle Phillips, Sacramento, California, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Road B. Michaela Steffi Pierre, Porto Prince 18, Bachelor of Science, Psychology and Business Administration. Ronaldo Datiandre Pierre, Tabar Haiti, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Levi Sebastian Prestich, Alma, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Miguel Angel Quisquina Salo, Salola, Guatemala, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Cum Laude. Raquel Beatriz Ramos Soriano, San Salvador, El Salvador, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, and Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Nathaniel James Rankin, Plano, Texas, Bachelor of Science, and Business Administration, Cum Laude. J. 
Jennifer Marlin Rodriguez, Clarksville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Christian David Rodriguez Bonilla, Tegucigualpa, Honduras, Bachelor of Science, Psychology and Communication Studies, magna cum laude. Cameron Jace Rolke, Cart Springs, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Jackson Tyler Rogers, Paris, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, magna cum laude. Alfayed Roma, Porto Prince, 80, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, cum laude. Isabella Grace Salazar, Houston, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Cody Lee Shannon, Ozark, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration, magna cum laude. Zane Thomas Sims, Bentonville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, magna cum laude. Hannah Star Smith, Shirts, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, magna cum laude. Kaylin Noel Soria, Angleton, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration, magna cum laude. Danielle Marie Spencer Rogers, Gentry, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, magna cum laude. Emily Grace Spillers, Scranton, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Chase Allen Stevenson, Mansfield, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, magna cum laude. Leah Lutero, Morfreesboro, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration, magna cum laude. Alexander Nicholas Trinidad Gonzalez, Westminster, Colorado, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration and Health Science, summa cum laude. Rick Shane Tucker, Belize City, Belize, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, summa cum laude. Brooklyn Harley Tucker, Van Buren, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Jacob Douglas Wesley Tucker, Boonville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Rodney Pavel Valdez, Panama City, Panama, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, cum laude. Nikolai Vanzil, Friedendahl, South Africa, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Trey Nicholas Vance, Fayetteville, Arkansas, 
Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, summa cum laude. Michael Lee Vargas, Houston, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Victoria Fernanda Villatoro, Berryville, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Health Science, and Business Administration. Rosemont Grace Wade, Lamar, Arkansas, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Magna Cum Laude. Katie Melissa Watson, Atkins, Arkansas, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies, summa cum laude. Coleman Dale Wheeler, Cave Springs, Arkansas, Bachelor of General Studies. Nicholas Patrick White, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Bachelor of Science, Health Science. Ray Shkina Chanel Williams, Freeport, the Bahamas, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration. Elvia Arceli Yax Menchu, Agueta Salola Guamaramara, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration and Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Jalen Jamal James York, Rosenberg, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology and Health Science. Roya Aldoberto Zamora Lagos, McKinney, Texas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Each year, the faculty of University of the Ozarks selects a student to receive the Wiley Lynn Hury Memorial Award. It is the highest honor and most prestigious award an Ozark student can receive. Faculty members choose a graduate who's been an exemplary scholar, a campus leader, and a person of outstanding character. The recipients, plural, of the 2023 Wiley Lynn Hury Award are Abby Lewis, a health science major from Greenbrier, Arkansas, and Kanisha McDonald, a biology major from Nassau, the Bahamas. <laughs> to lead our graduates in the ceremony that ch changes the tassel, please welcome Miss Abby Lewis and Miss Kanisha McDonald to the stage. Graduates, will you please rise?
On behalf of University of the Ozarks, we congratulate you upon your graduation and welcome you to the university's alumni association. Before now, we were students. Now, we are Ozarks alumni for life, joining the ranks of approximately 8,000 proud University of the Ozarks alumni across the world. Let us now signify our graduation by the ceremonial gesture of moving our tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023. Graduates, please be seated. University of the Ozarks is governed by a volunteer board of trustees. In addition to serving as the university's governing body, the trustees give freely of their time, their talent, and their treasures to support the university of today and ensure its place in the future. To share the significance of this day, I invite Ms. Susan Penson, Chair of the University of the Ozarks Board of Trustees. Ms. Penson. Graduates, it is an honor to represent the Board of Trustees today. On behalf of the Board, I congratulate each of you on your accomplishments that bring you to this day. Ozark's history is an extraordinary and storied journey. A journey that began on what was the frontier 188 years ago. Throughout our history, we have led higher education on many important fronts, gender, race and ethnic backgrounds, learning differences, and inclusive understanding of justice. The university is committed to living out its mission. True to our Christian heritage, we prepare students from diverse religious, cultural, educational, and economic backgrounds to live life fully. I believe your graduation today exemplifies Ozarks living out its mission. We wish you success as you live life to the fullest. And don't forget to come back and tell us about it. Congratulations. Would everyone please rise as we sing together the alma mater. Oh, 
The benediction is words adapted from a song by Jim Morgan entitled, To a Wild Pony. God be with you, my good friends. Our time has been a gift, you know. We'll really miss you until we see you again. God be with you as you go. You burst upon our scene just like a pony running wild. One minute wise beyond your years, the next a little child. And just when you confounded all the books that we had read, we learned that we just loved you for the soul you are instead. God was with you all these years, though times I know you couldn't tell. Through all the doubts you had and all the fears, the times you stood, the times you fell. You went out to climb a mountain, you drove us to a rage, you ate more than an army, you ridiculed my age. But somewhere in the laughter and the music's blaring din, you heard the voice of learning and you began to let it in. God be with you, child of grace, and walk beside you down your road. The spirit that we feel within this place, I pray, will journey with you as you go. And maybe we will see you in a month or in a year, or maybe it's for longer that your face will disappear. Or maybe someday, years from now, we'll hear you on the phone asking how to handle a wild pony of your own. God be with you, my dear friends. Our time has been a gift, you know. We'll really miss you until we see you again. So God be with you, and God be with me, and God be with us as you go. Congratulations, and amen.